All right, I don't have a lot of time tonight. There's a couple of updates I'm doing on the kayak. And I think I only have time to do the keel guard, which we'll see how that goes. I gotta tear all this old um, tape off that I put on, which was basically, you know, Gorilla Tape, which did okay for a while, but you can see, you know, it's just not, it's not gonna stay. It gets rubbed and it gets just ripped. I've got some good size gouges here. I gotta make sure I get those covered. I may have to buy an extra extra gator guard strip, so see how it goes. Oh man, what's up everybody? It's been a minute since I've been able to do a video. Man, the weather's been bad. I've been working. Um, added a part-time job to what I'm doing already, and weather's been bad on the weekend, so what are you going to do? Haven't been able to do a lot of fishing. Uh, I've done some fishing, but haven't done any catching. So I'm going to do a little work on the kayak. i got a little bit of time this afternoon. Hopefully y'all can hear me with all that going on. Uh, anyway, um, doing a couple things with kayak. I'm going to try to put um, some heel guards on the kayak. Now this is what I picked up. So you got these gator skins. These are just a peel and stick grip. So I'm gonna try to put that on the front and the back and see how that does. Um, if they work out good, then I may kind of expand and put some more further down on the kayak. So that's one plan for the day, but before that. Let's see what come in the mail today. Yeah, baby. Mystery tackle box. Let's go. First one since winter. I, I always I shut down my subscription during winter just to save a little money. And because I'm not doing a lot of fishing during the winter either. So we're going to take a look at this see what's in here. All right. Let's see what we got. Looks like we get a jig. This is a, what's the brand? Phoenix, I don't know if you guys can see that. Phoenix, all purpose jig. Something big from Guggen. Let's see what this is. Oh yeah. Of course my dog's going out, my neighbor dog. Neighbors just got a dog, so now he's, you know, wacko. This is the Recon. I don't have any of these. I'm pretty sure I don't. I don't think I've ever gotten one in a bag. But that's a that's a good-looking lure. Purple on top. Got that kind of a, not a fluorescent green, but kind of a matte. I don't know. It's not really sunny out here today, but that's going to be nice. Some hooks. I've had, I think I've had some of these Exxons. I don't think I've had this one. This is called the Adrenaline uh, Bug Jr. It's a three and a half inch. Oh, that's a good little craw. That's a floating craw, as it says there. And that's gonna be a good lure. I love these purple colors. Um, they're really dark, almost black, purplish colors. I can use this as a trailer or I can use this just straight up on a, a jig head, most likely. All right, got some Lake Fork. This is different. I've got a couple of Lake Fork lures. I've gotten them mostly in, the, in these mystery tackle boxes. This, let's see that here. Hopper stick 5 inch, pump, pumpkin gold purple fleck. Or flake. It's got a gap here in the middle. I guess this is for wacky rigging it. Let's see if you can see that. It's got that kind of a smaller gap in the middle. I'm assuming you put the hook right there. But we're gonna try it a couple of different ways. It shows on the back some ways you can rig it up. Different ways to go with it. There it is, wacky rig. Right there. So we'll see how it goes. That's it. Three things at least in there that I'll use, including the hooks. I don't I don't use a lot of jigs. I need to use more jigs, but I don't. Alright, let's get this kayak. I'm going to try to sand this down a little bit more. I didn't get it sanded really well. It's still pretty rough. So I'm going to sand this down real quick and see if we can get a better, get it to stick a little better. I have cleaned it 
first time around, but let's go with this a little bit better. All right, if y'all were paying attention when I showed you the, the sandpaper, that's for my um, my big um, orbital. Well, it's kind of an or it's a sanding disc that I have like on a disc pad. I can't remember what the thing's called. But anyway, I don't use it that much, so it's the first one I could find on my sandpaper, so I'm going to use it. I know I've got some scratches. I'm going to have to take care of a different way. These aren't deep. There's a couple back here, though, that are pretty deep. I don't know. I'm, I may have to just put... I've used this Gorilla Tape before, and it's actually held pretty good, but it doesn't hold good on the keel because it keeps getting dragged around. So I'm going to try to sand these down a little, and I may just have to use that Gorilla Tape on these if I don't have enough... Put a little alcohol on it, clean it off real quick, it'll dry fast. Probably sand the other side down. Half while this is drying, even though this is not going to take long for this to dry. Alright, going to sand the other side. You don't need to see that, it's going to be the same as this side. I think what I'm going to do is put this on the back first. I don't know if I have enough to do the front and back. I've got two sheets. These are, I think they're 16 inches long. They're four inches wide. And it's not quite as wide as the keel on the back here. I didn't think it was that wide. This has got that 3M tape on it, glue tape, whatever. It's really good. So I'm going to show you kind of how it'll fit, but, and that would protect it because these, maybe these sides wouldn't hit. Let me see if I'm lined up with you guys here. Yeah, let's get a little closer. There we go. So if I line this up here, and it hangs just a little bit on the edge, and it goes back, and I'm dragging it, my only concern is It'll pull this up if I hit it in the wrong spot. I wonder if I should put these on and wrap them down over this way. Then I know I'm not going to have enough. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is just put one back here in the middle in the back. And these are pretty thick. It's kind of hard to tell in the video. These are fairly thick. And let's see if that'll protect it at least enough. I'll come back down to here and then up. And if this tape is as good as everybody says it is on this 3M, that should help me out. Because I don't think it'll wrap around it and hold anyway. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it here. Hopefully if anything hits, it'll hit this way before it hits the sides. And if it doesn't work, then I'll just get some more and either add to the sides or take it off and completely redo it. These are pretty cheap. Let's try that first. It's got a real nice pebble kind of a finish to it and it feels really sturdy so let's give this a shot I thought it said it would adhere to plastic but it's not on the description but I'm going to see if it'll do it anyway because this is what I got right up here in the middle let's see if this will be a good fix least for a little while this starts curling up I know I got a problem Doesn't look good. Yeah, a lot of motorcycles around here I guess looks pretty good so we'll see what happens this may be a little more difficult because I got to curve it and I don't know how well it's going to hold it when it curves but we'll see um, here hopefully I don't have to cut this to make it fit around the edge
Hmm. All right, so I had to cut a slit, and hopefully that's not going to mess it up. I'm trying to get this pushed in. I don't know if it's gonna stick like that. Probably should have layered it and just put like a small piece in the front and then another piece behind it. Probably just leave it up overnight. It's supposed to be pretty nice tomorrow. I'm just leave it out in the sun. Let it maybe soften up and then maybe it'll stick a little better. I may have to put some heat to it, but I don't want to because I don't know if that'll mess up the glue. We're going to leave it like this for now and see how it does. Well, after cleaning it off a little more, now I know why some people are like <clears throat> trying to cover the whole bottom in something. Whether it's like a truck bed liner or something, that would just add a lot of weight to this kayak and I don't want to do that. But I'm probably going to be putting a little few pieces of tape here and there.